Do you have a story or a voiceover clip and want to turn it into a video? Then look at this video. Once upon a time in the small town of Willow Creek, there was a young boy named Simon. This video was created by an AI tool from a simple voiceover clip. And today, I am going to share the method of how you can turn any audio into a stunning video using an AI tool called Motion. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Motion is an AI-powered video creation tool that can generate stunning videos from an idea, turn your script into a video, and even turn any audio or video clip into a polished video. Whether you are a content creator, educator, or marketer, Motion can be your video creation assistant. It can literally create any kind of video. Okay, this is the Motion homepage. You will find the link in the description. Just grab the link and then create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. At the top, you will find the prompt box. Here, you can enter your idea, and Motion will generate the video for you. Under the prompt box, you will find some templates. This makes your video creation easier than ever. You will find templates for various types of content. You just have to select the content type and then enter your context, and the AI will handle the rest. Now imagine I have this voiceover clip. Once upon a time, in a cozy little village nestled beside a whispering forest. It's an audio version of a story. Now I want to generate a video with this voiceover clip. To do so, I am selecting the recording to video tool. This is our recording to video interface. First of all, we have to set the speech language. As I have an English voiceover, I am selecting English. You can create bilingual videos on motion. I will talk about this later. All right, now we have to upload the asset. Here you will find two options. With the record option, you can record your voiceover or video. Yes, you can turn any rough video into a polished one using motion. Next, we have the upload option. I am uploading the voiceover clip. Once the audio clip is uploaded, we have to select the aspect ratio. I am selecting 16 by 9. If you want to make a short video, then select 9 by 16 or 1 by 1. Now we have to select the visual style of the video. Here you will find a vast number of styles like photorealistic, picture book, 3D cartoon, comic, anime, cinematic, horror, and more. Select the style as per your need. I am selecting the hyper cartoon style. Once everything is set, hit the transcribe button from here. Now the A, I will analyze the voiceover and create a perfect transcription. It will take some time, which depends on the length of the audio clip. And here it is, the transcription is ready. Now, if you find any issues, you can fix them. I am fine with the transcription. So, I am clicking on the Generate button from here. Now the A, I will generate the storyboard. Basically, it will analyze the transcription and all other settings, and then create images for every scene. It will take some time. So, I am fast-forwarding the video. And here it is, the images are ready. You can see the preview of the images scene by scene. It creates really amazing and consistent characters for all the scenes. I love them. However, if you find any issue, you can customize the images or regenerate new scenes. Let's have a look at it. I am starting with the very first image. Here, under the preview image, you will find several options to customize or regenerate the image. I am clicking on the regenerate button from here. You will find the prompt used to generate the image. You can customize the prompt if you want. After customizing the prompt, Hit the Generate button and then wait for some time. Here it is, our image is ready. This is a perfect image for our scene, I like it. Now for the second image, I will go for the Edit Image option. With the Edit Image option, you can customize the image without regenerating the full image. First, we have the Adjust feature. Here you can crop the image or flip it. Next, with the Modify option, you can select any area of the image and customize the particular selected elements in the image. After that, with the Erase option, you can remove any unwanted object from the image. In the end, you can change the background of the image if you want. However, I will regenerate the full image and generate a new image for this scene. Now, this is a perfect image. OK, now in the same method, preview all the scene images and customize them if needed. Give proper time to customize the images as they will be used as the first frame of every scene. All right. Our scene images are ready. Now we have to turn them into video clips. And to do that, we have to use the animate feature. 
Once you click on the animate button from here, this pop-up will appear. Now here in this pop-up we have to enter the image to video generation prompt. This is optional. You can skip it. Let's see how it does with auto prompts. After the prompt box, you will find the high quality toggle. It will cost more credits but generate high quality results. I am turning on the high quality option. Next, you will find the duration option. This is automatically set as per the scene duration. So we don't need to customize anything here. Now, we have to click on the OK button from here to turn this image into a video clip. This will take some time to generate the video. So, I am fast forwarding the video. And here it is, the video is ready. This is really a good video. The motion is subtle. There is no unusual movement in the video, and even any glitch in it. I love it. Okay, now come to the second scene image, click on the animate button, enter the prompt if you want, then set all other settings, and then hit the OK button, and then wait for some time. And here it is, the video is ready. The quality of the video? This is really amazing. Now, in the same method, you can generate video clips for all the scenes. However, as it will take a long time, I will click on the Animate All button from here to turn all the images into video clips in one click. It will take some time to generate the video, so I will fast forward the video. Okay, all of the video clips are ready. Now, move forward to the next step. Click on the Next button from here. On the next page, we have to set some settings. First, we have the title option. You can add the title of the video at the start. I won't use any. Next, we have the subtitle option. You will find several templates for the subtitles. You can use any one from here, I am selecting this one. Next, you can create a thumbnail for the video. After that, we have the background music option. You will find a vast library of AI-generated background music. Listen to some of them, and then select the best one. Once everything is set, click on the composite button from here. It will take around one minute to compose the video. And here it is, our final video is ready. Now, you can download the storyboard, the thumbnail, and then the full video. Here on the left side, you will find the story summary, hashtags, and the full script. Okay, now let's preview our final video. Once upon a time, in a cozy little village, nestled beside a whispering forest, lived a cheerful squirrel named Squeaky and a gentle bear named Barnaby. Squeaky was quick and loved to gather nuts, while Barnaby was strong and enjoyed finding juicy berries. One sunny morning, Squeaky was trying to reach a particularly plump acorn high up in an oak tree. He jumped and stretched, but it was just out of his grasp. Barnaby, seeing his friend's struggle, lumbered over. Need a paw, Squeaky? He rumbled with a smile. This is really amazing. So now you can create this kind of high-quality storytelling AI animation video from any voiceover using Motion AI. This is not the end, there are so many more tools available on Motion. For example, if you want to make a bilingual story, select the bilingual story template from here. Once you are on this page, select the target and the source language. After that, enter the script or prompt. Next, you can add an avatar if you want to add anyone. In the end, set the visual style. Once everything is set, click here. Now it will generate the storyboard and then images for all the scenes. Once all the images are ready, you can customize them if needed. After that, animate all the images and then click on the next button. On the next page, set all the settings like title, subtitle, motion, voiceover, and then music. Once done, hit the composite button. And here it is, the video is ready. Let's have a look. Upon a time in the small town of Willow Creek, there was a young boy named Simon. Simon loved to run more than anything in the world, but he was not the fastest in his class. Il était une fois dans la petite ville de Willow Creek, un jeune garçon nommé Simon. Simon aimait courir plus que tout au monde, mais il n'était pas le plus rapide de sa classe. You can notice that, after telling the story in English, it narrates the scene again in French. So, now you can create videos in two languages simultaneously. It will help if you are a foreign language teacher. In the same method, you can create any kind of video using motion. If you are searching for a video generator that will create content for you, don't forget to try motion. The link will be in the description. Alright friends, I'll wrap up our video now. 
Before that, I'd love to hear about your experience creating videos using an AI video generator. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!